Good afternoon. What does Rip think of strongman type training in competitions? Regards. I think that strongman type training uh, should best be accomplished with barbell training. Uh, I think that strongman competitions include uh, a number of very specific movements that must be practiced. So I think that you train for the farmer's walk by getting your squat, deadlift, press, and power clean up. I think you practice for the farmer's walk by doing the farmer's walk. Like the previous question I just, I just answered, there is a distinct difference between exercise and training. We've written about that extensively. Go to the website, this website, startingstrength.com, and look that up in my set of articles about this. Uh, strongman competition uh, is, a, is a fairly dangerous, it's a fairly dangerous sport. It's an excellent way to tear a bicep tendon loose. Happens all the time. Tire flips are dangerous. They're very dangerous. I understand the visual appeal. I understand it's fun, all this stuff. But uh, it's real, real easy to get hurt in a strongman contest. It really is. Uh, it's a lot easier to get hurt in a strongman contest than it is in an Olympic weightlifting meet or a powerlifting meet. And... Uh, I don't know. That's a that's part of the appeal, I guess. But uh, it is a uh, it's an interesting it's an interesting thing. That thing started back in the late seventies, if I remember correctly. The world's strongest man. The first time they showed that, and the the whole thing has grown into a very popular sport. Some great big strong guys doing it right now. But you don't get big and strong doing farmers walks. You are a good, you're good at the farmer's walk if you're big and strong. So how do you get big and strong? You train for strength. You squat. You press. You bench press. You deadlift. You power clean. You go up a little bit every workout for years and years and years until you're big and strong. And another thing you don't do is worry about your abs <laughs> if you're doing strong. You can't be worried about your abs.